Later on, uh, Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert will be here, Robin Barnett. But right now, my next guest, as I'm sure you all know, you see, I said reporter. He's actually the gossip columnist for the Vatican newspaper, L'Observatore Romano. All the way from Rome, Father Guido Sarducci and his dog, Sport. <laughs> Perfect. Look, the seat and everything. Well, this is really rather a surprise, uh, well, it's uh, a Father. My, this is my dog, Sport. He's not real well trained. Uh -huh. I hope you don't mind. No, that's all right. But this is the Ed, the Sport. It's a nice looking, sport. friendly, friendly dog. Right. I'm trying I, to get him into show business. I'm not familiar with this breed, I'll be honest with you. It, uh, He's what a, kind of a dog, what breed of dog is this? A Neapolitan. Napolitan, what we call him. It's a, a Napolitan, Neapolitan. Neapolitan is the whole name. Nap but Napolitan Sharpe. 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 They got him in China. Is it the uh, ancestor? What do you call it, ancestor? Yes. No, the, the, the younger one of the ancestor. Uh, the offspring? Offspring uh -huh. of the Chinese Sharpe. I didn't realize that. And it was that. brought to Italy by Marco Polo Jr. <laughs> <laughs> and the father and his father. Right, father the father, father brought the spaghetti. Uh -huh. And the son brought the, these dogs, and it was great, you know. Well, uh, sit down, sit. Can you sit? Watch, it's great, huh? That's very yeah. nice. And it, and it's very good. I want to get him in, used to the lights and that. You know, I call him a sport. I changed his name from sport to sport the dog. Sport the dog. Right. You know why? No. Because Mike the dog. The Mike the dog. Right. The big dog who was in Down and Out in Beverly Hills. Right. The Down and Out and the big Mike, star now. Big star. He was in with uh, Beth Midler. Mm -hmm. Can you lay down? Try to lay him down. He was with Beth Midler. He's a big star. He was. Uh, he went. Uh, he got an article in People magazine. Right. You know what I mean? He's really, really breaking. The so I'm on entertainment tonight. Once. Entertainment tonight. He right. put his uh, feet in the cement mm -hmm. next to Mickey Rooney just just the other day. Right. And he's like really popular. And I think. So you, you know, have hopes for. Uh, Right, you know when some dog breaks through and goes to like a superstardom and that's right. the, the hemisphere of uh, show business, you know like how many scripts and offers he gets. Right. And I think there's going to be like an overflow, and you know talent like this could jump right in. Yeah. You know and, and do some hit the movies and that. That's what I'm thinking. So well, it's going to be you know big now, star. All I've seen your dog do so. Uh, now forgive me, father, but all I've seen the dog do is sit. Now if right. I remember Mike in the movie, his owner says he does something like. Uh, 100 or 101 tricks. 101 tricks. Now, how about... Uh, that's what he says, 101. That's but what he they said. Can't, one is like jumping on furniture. To me, that's not a trick. That's not a trick. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like comes a natural. Right. But anyway, 101. He's like a... Well, what? Give me a foot. Give me a foot. Give me a foot. Give me a foot. All right. How about it? That's, that's, you see? Now, that, I would consider that... Two. I would consider that a bona fide that's, trick. That's yeah. two. And lay Bear. down. <laughs> Oh, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Father. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute, Father. The dog was on his way down but as the, you gave that command. He read, he read, he read your mind. mind. Right. He does that. He's like a psychedelic. I understand. Right. And there the, probably is that communication between an owner and his dog right. when you think about that. And he does one trick. All right. I, it doesn't always get it right. We don't have it down pat, That's you all know, right. but it's got to take a chance. We'll understand that. because of the lights and everything. It's right. And Mike, I know, can I do this a trick? I'm no. sure he can't. Mm -hmm. What is is, uh, if you could think, I got a pad and pencil, you could think of a number. Oh, no, come on. Your dog is going to do something. Well, I don't know. I don't guarantee it. Well, now, what do you want? what do you want me to do? One to 20. Pick out a number between 1 and 20. Yeah, first I wanted to, to say, you know, you don't know, you, you, we know each other, but, I mean, we, you don't know sport. You no. never met no, before. No, never met before. We never did this before. What, no. you're, what you're trying to say, there's been no collusion here? No collusion. I understand that. Right. But you want me to write on a piece of paper? Right. Any number between 1? One, 1, any number, between 1 and 20. Can, are and you no, supposed you, to? I could see it, too, yes. Oh, I as see. As long as you don't see it. All right. You could show the audience <laughs> don't look. I don't, I don't think sport could see up here no, anyway. No, you can't see up there. Okay, here's the number. Could the audience see it too? Sure, I'll hold it up to okay. a close-up camera over here. Okay, okay, sport. Just one second here, the audience hasn't seen okay. it yet. Okay. Oh, okay, sport. Use all your mental powers, you know, like we practice, any of that. Concentrate. Sport, I'm thinking, they wrote down a number, Mr. Carson, between one and 20. It is not 12. <laughs> 
is not the 15. Between 1 and 20. If, if the number of apostles, if the apostles invited two other people to be with them, it would be 30 more seconds. It's not, it's not, I don't, I think it's the lights. Well, now it's, it's, it's all right. It's, it's, it's difficult, the first appearance. It's the lights and the cameras and all. He has to get used to it, I think. Normally, sport can do this, though. Normally, mm -hmm. he, he could. Well, sometimes, like I said, I don't promise him, but sometimes he can. And, uh, you know, next time, yeah. I think, okay. I could, you know, don't pick the same number. No, no, of course not. <laughs> but, uh, no, the dog will have time to work on it. Uh, right. Do you travel all over with the sport? Go with you wherever you go, Father? Well, I do travel with him a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really want to thank you for getting us into this hotel here. In, oh, yes. in L.A., you know, because it's so hard. We you know when you're traveling around the country with another species, right? And you try to check into a hotel, especially dogs. You know, they really. I don't know if this ever happened to you or right. not. I don't. I don't own a dog. Right, but they just, you know, won't let you in and that, and just makes me sick. Like Mike the dog, since he's a star, you know, he's like living higher than a hog. Yeah, limousines, everything. Limousines, and travel first class. He flew. He did Saturday Night Live lately. That's NBC. Right. Hey, they didn't fix it up, I found out later, because I heard they went first class from L.A. to New York. Right. I says, why can't you do this? I don't want first class, it's just, you know, coaches, cool, you know, yep. no problem. <laughs> they says, you know what, how they did it? NBC couldn't do it, full strength, to have Mike fly first class. What they did, Mike's the trainer called uh, Disney, and Disney fixed it up to him. Really? I not believe it. But we had to come by car. Oh. We had to come by car, and it was a tough, it was just a terrible. From, from uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, though, to L.A. was cool. You know, yeah, it was that... no problem, because we got one ride the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, to Ari from New York to Arizona... <laughs> it was like a 50 different rides. Yeah. All that I stuff. don't know. They see a priest and a dog. I, don't, I think it's the collar. They think Probably. this guy wants to talk a philosophy or something. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Father, I'm going to have to interrupt a second here. And sport, I know. Well, sport won't mind either. No, it doesn't We're mind. coming right back. And we'll do this. And we'll be, we'll be right back. We were talking, of course, with Father Guido Sarducci. I must say, Father, your dog is very well trained. The band was playing during this right. break, and the dog seemed to enjoy it. He loves the Dr. Trumpet. Really? He, he really likes the trumpet better than any, anything. Yeah. Once Isaac Perlman, he liked it with the violin. You Likes... know, he was uh, looking in front of the TV for Perlman, but uh, yeah. didn't last. Yeah. He got the album, he didn't care about it. Yeah, didn't care at all. <laughs> I, I understand now, I may be wrong, I hear that you are forming your own church. No, I formed, I did it. Oh, you did form? I did it for my own church and a bailed out, is what it happened. <laughs> it just it didn't, you know, take off from the ground uh, financially, is what, what, what it happened. Well, a lot, of, a lot of churches have that problem, right, raising fairly, funds. Financially, it was a bad end. Uh, it wasn't so bad, because I got my old job back, you know, I went back to my old church, and everything's fine, and was it just a misunderstanding, what it was? What do you mean, I don't understand? Well, you know, all I, all I ever wanted was to be promoted. Sure. To, to be a senior, you know? And it's just uh, years and years, all the time they say to me, next year, you have to wait till the next group. And, this, and it's just uh, all the time, you know, putting off, putting off. And then uh, in my seminary class, when I graduated from a seminary, yeah. now there was 39 of us, mm -hmm. 38 minor seniors. 38. Everybody but me. I had to go to the class reunion. You know? Everybody was a Monsignor. Everybody but me. They says, isn't this a great? Over 92% of Monsignors. <laughs> it's just us there, you know, and they says, 38 out of 39. Let's all of the Monsignors stand up. Take a bow for yourself. <laughs> you know, I have to sit there, you know, just with my swizzle stick. Yeah. You know, I mean, and, <laughs> so I decided to, uh, to quit to start my own church. Uh -huh. But it didn't work out, and uh, what you was know, the major problem? Just finances, or? finances, and the responsibility. I had to answer a lot of letters people wrote to me. You yeah. know, and it's a longer story. But yeah. I started my own chism. I started my church, and then I bailed out myself. Yeah, kind of like Marcos. You know what I mean? When, yeah. But I threw my own portrait out the window. Oh, that's I what know. it was. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I made arrangements. I went back to my church, and I got my old job back. Not exactly the same yeah. as the last. I kind of a. Uh, I'm an assistant for the fellow who used to be uh, my assistant. Oh. But it's okay, he knows me, you know, we get along well in that. <laughs> but 
but uh, as long, uh, as you, long as you can accept that. All right, I could accept that. Yeah. He's a nice, nicer fellow than that. But the main thing is that they caved in on the Monsignor issue. You're kidding. And I'm going to be Monsignor. So that's all I wanted. Yeah. You know, I, so that's the best. Now, you're not... You are not as of yet, of course, addressed as a Monsignor. Right, Mon well, Senior. they didn't want to make it look like I'm holding them up or something. Oh, I, I mean, so they, you know, I just... Well, the next group, it says. The next <laughs> group, I'm, uh, you know... So I could wait a couple, you know, wait all this time, I could wait a couple more months or whatever, you know, yeah. in the next group. And besides, I'm into this dog stardom business yeah. anyway, and, you know, we're going to make a couple of films, have a couple of films under our belts. We really? And we're going to, you know, I think so after this. You yeah. kidding how he was? He was great. He almost got it, the number and everything. And uh, So in addition to your new duties, if you become Monsignor, you'll still have to manage uh, I'm going to be sport. managing him, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to keep a real low profile for him, mm -hmm. kind of like Marlon Brando does. You yeah. know what I mean? How he does it. He lives on an island in the South Pacific, That's right. and you don't allow a lot of press. And Overexposure that. is bad. For, right. For I don't artist. want that. Yeah. Maybe one report will get to come to the island yeah. every six months. Some, you know, Wall Street the Journal talk about it's a trust to fund. I don't know what. Yeah. About well, it. <laughs> but it's going to be great. I wish you luck, Father. Oh, well, thanks a lot. Yes. And I hope to, when you get to be a full-time one senior, right. will you still come back now? Let me ask you this. Right. You won't say, hey, now I can't do the show anymore because I'm a, a Monsignor. Because I'm, I'm a Monsignor? No yeah. way. Yeah. I'll be here for sure. And I'll bring him, if you want, with me. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. If, bring him, yeah. if, he... if he makes a picture between now and then, you can, you can bring him. OK, great. But he's got to have some credits. OK, that's okay. a deal. We'll, uh, we'll take a break. We'll be right back.